Good morning, this is Ted with Foxhole Homes, and I want to talk to you today about insulation and earthships. Most people, when you ask what insulation does, they say, well, it, you know, keeps the building warm or it keeps the building cold, and that's true. Um, but more specifically, what insulation does is it keeps heat from transferring. As you all know, earthships are built out of old tires that we beat full of earth. And a lot of times people will say, well, what's the R value or the insulation value on an earth ship? But that's a complete, well, it's the wrong way to think about it. Because that part of the building, right, is not acting as insulation because it's not trying to keep heat from transferring. It's actually trying to store heat. So the, the tire part of the building isn't insulative at all. What it's actually doing is providing thermal mass. But insulation is still important in the edges of the building, in the perimeter, and certainly in the roof, where we would get a lot of heat transfer in the wrong way, either too hot in the summer or too cold in the winter. So I want to talk about alternative ways to provide insulation for the Earthship for that purpose. When we're talking about heat transfer, uh, basically that can happen in three different ways. Um, it, the most, uh, starting from the most dramatic to the least dramatic, the way that we can lose heat most quickly is through what is called conduction. And conduction basically means that it's touching, right? And so if I'm touching something that's cold, I'm going to get cold. If I'm touching something that's hot, it's going to get hot. So I've got to have a way to deal with that. Um, the next, um, the next most, uh, the next best way to transfer heat is through convection. And convection is basically wind. Um, Convection is wind, and that makes it so that, as you know, if you're standing out in the cold and it's just cold, that's one thing. But if it's cold and windy, it feels a lot colder all of a sudden. And last, and sort of least, um, as far as the ways that we can lose heat, um, is radiation. For radiation... That is, or transfer heat, is radiation. And that's simply like if you've stood in the sunshine and you feel the warmth of the sun hitting you, or if you're standing behind a glass window and you can feel the rays of the sun hitting you, that is radiation. That's a way that temperature and heat transfers. And so we want to have ways to deal with all of those effectively inside the system and take advantage of them to do what we want to do. So, conduction. What's the easiest way to prevent conduction? What has to happen? Well, if conduction is heat transfer through contact, I don't want to have contact. And so we do that through dead airspace. Um, that is very easily understood with fiberglass insulation that has a little bit of material and a whole bunch of air in the middle, right? So that is kind of one of the most common forms of insulation that we use in building every day. What are ways that we can do kind of the same thing in an earthship without having to pay for those conventional materials? Well, this is one that homeless people have figured out a long time ago, and it is using car corrugated cardboard because down the center of that piece of cardboard, you've got the other piece of cardboard that's zigzagging back and forth, and it creates that dead airspace. And that allows, that allows for the temperature on the inside to kind of stabilize without conducting heat or cold from the opposite side. In our build, we'll be using cardboard um, as the primary insulation inside of our roof. Um, so with that, that's going to provide protection from conduction by creating dead airspace. Now, you might be saying, 
Well, cardboard is uh, kind of flammable, right? Do I want something super flammable in the roof? And you're right, that is a risk. And I'm gonna talk about a couple of ways that we can mitigate that. Probably the simplest and oldest way to deal with that is simply by using borax. If you dissolve borax in water and spray or soak the cardboard in it and then let it dry out again, borax is a flame retardant and you can keep the, the cardboard from being, or much less flammable, right? Much more uh, flame resistant by soaking that in, in borax. We'll be doing that with some of the wood in our roof, but the way that we'll be protecting the cardboard is actually with this flame retardant foil barrier. Um, and this actually is also helps us with radiation. So we'll be wrapping nine inch tall stacks of cardboard in this, which will create a great protection from conduction, but it will also help with radiation. This fabric radiates back over 90% of the radiant energy that's coming in. And at the top of the roof, in between the metal on top of the roof and the cardboard will be this layer of foil. And we're designing that so that here in the heat of the summer, the heat of that hot metal roof will reflect back from this radiant guard barrier that's providing fire protection, but it will also help the heat in that roof travel up to the eaves of the roof and escape out that way. If, you've, if you know about the cooling tubes in the back of the building, the other thing that that's going to do is that radiant heat that's getting created in the roof will actually provide conduction to pull the heat out of the building and through the cooling tubes in the back and that radiant heat that's being generated between the roof and the foil barrier will actually provide the power that will provide the cooling for the house. What are some other ways that we can provide insulation for a home? Another alternative form of building is using straw bales. Um, we're not using straw bales for insulation in this home, we're using it to help stabilize the adobe, but straw bale homes are also very, very highly insulated. Um, because there's a lot of inside each piece of straw, right? They're hollow. It's basically, well, it's a straw. It's hollow on the inside. And so that is a lot of dead airspace that provides a lot of insulative value. And then you can simply stucco or adobe the, the, the interior and exterior of the wall to provide a smooth finish for the home. So straw is another great way that you can insulate. But again, on the basic principles, how does heat transfer in the good ways or bad ways, depending on how you wanna do it? The basics are conduction, which is contact, convection, which is wind, and radiant energy, which is literally just the rays of the sun or the heat rays kind of traveling out. And we wanna have ways to effectively deal with all of those and use them how we want. In this case, we're using cardboard to help with conduction. We're using this foil barrier to help with radiation, and we're actually using that to our advantage to create convection in the roof to provide the cooling system in the summer.